Welcome to the latest Water Closet Aquarium Gallery video brought to you from the Aquarium Rush Studios in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We're doing an unboxing today and it's way more fun when Charles and Amy get to be up here with me doing the unboxings together instead of in the background. Hi guys. Hey, we're here just to heckle you. All right, that's good. I can handle the heckling. We are of course maintaining our social distancing and we are being as safe as we possibly can to try and get through this whole thing together. Hopefully you guys are being safe too. However, I am gonna do some things to try to encourage you to get out because my wholesaler for corals made me an offer that I simply could not refuse. So it kind of went a little overboard on corals. So let's take a look and see what we got. All right. Whoa, that is a giant sun coral. So anybody into the non photosynthetic corals out there, Amy's getting a little bit excited. She's been bugging me to try them for a while. Giant sun coral, that's amazing. By the way, this was a blind box lot. So I don't even know what we got. Some of them aren't even labeled. This looks like some really, I need my glasses for these because they're that cool. This looks like, yeah, some really cool Rhodactis mushrooms. Nice. Cute little Blastomusa merletti. Oh no, that might be a well sign. Oh, that's very cool. What's this? I don't even know what it is. Oh, there we go, it's labeled. Oh, this is a nice big green leather coral. Cool, so that's gonna be green finger leather. It's got like five different heads on it. Nice. Ooh, this is big. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at the size of that coral. Wow, that's a, that's a really cool orange and green Fabia. That's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. It's like a steak. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is a bright orange disc coral. This is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. And the orange color on an orange disc is fantastic. That looks like some cool zoanthids. Who knows what they're gonna be like. You'll have to come into the gallery and check them out to see what they turn out to be. And then, some eagle eye zoanthids. Those are always, it's hard to beat eagle eye zoanthids. They got that good orange color with some really nice green. I know they're common as far as zoanthids go, but they're common for a reason. All right, next box. We've got a bunch of boxes here, so lots to go through. Really cool type of Fabia. Those, it's a smaller polyps on those fa on that Fabia. Really nice. This is a nice big maricultured Indo leather coral. Really big toadstool. It's been hard to get good sized toadstools in, so it's cool to see one of those come in. And it's maricultured, which is my favorite. This is need the blue light here at the reef tank to see. Oh, the orange color on that it looks like an acan. Yeah, really nice orange acan. This is another one of those fox corals. If you see, have seen the fox corals that we have in, it's a really cool coral. It's a coral I haven't seen for a long time. If you look in some of the older books, it talks about it as being a really easy coral. You just don't see them as often, but yeah, it's beautiful. All right, what's next? We need the blue light for this one again. Oh, some really cool green hairy mushrooms. Lots of them, that rock is just covered with them. The Wells of Philias that they have been sending us, the brilliant reds and bright turquoise greens are amazing. And this one, this one doesn't, doesn't disappoint at all. It's beautiful. Wells of Philia, Trachophilia. All of a sudden I'm drawing a blank, it's one of those. Here's another orange plate coral. God, the orange color, it's just, it's glow in the dark orange. It looks like a construction cone color. What's this? More of these green mushrooms. Looking really good. Well, it turns out we're gonna have lots of really great mushrooms in stock. That's just a great filler for every tank. It covers rocks so well. Oh, what a cool tongue coral. You can see exactly why it's called a tongue coral. Shaped like a tongue. Bright green, really cool coral. They behave very similar to a disc coral, they're just kind of like elongated, stretched out a little bit. All right, 
Yep, two more boxes to go. Oh, look at the size of this pipe organ. I haven't seen a good pipe organ coral for a while. So one of the fun things to note about pipe organ coral, it looks very much like green star polyp when it's open, but it's got a really cool red skeleton. Often when you see frags of this coral, they're chopped really short and it'll still open for a while, but it cuts off that bottom part of the polyp and sometimes they don't survive. This one I see, it's not cut too short. So this should be a fantastic colony. And that bright red, bright red skeleton is really hard to beat. Oh, look at this fungia, heliofungia. Looks bright in the bag. You know that's gonna color up amazing. We had one of these in before. It went to one of our favorite customers. It's an amazing coral. Another really nice toadstool. Actually, this looks like a club finger. Cool leather coral. I can see some green already in the bag. Oh yeah, that's gonna have some great color. Good soft coral showing up again. It's been hard to find. This is one of the euphelias and it's huge. And until it opens up, I don't know what euphelia it's gonna be, but it's really big. Oh good, this is some really nice bright blue mushrooms. We've been looking for good blue mushrooms. They've been harder to find. This is another zoanthid rock. It's gonna be a mystery to see what that zoanthid rock looks like. Sorry, I have to keep turning around here, but I need that bright light to see what color these corals are. This is one for Amy. Look at that, this is a blueberry gorgonian. So this is gonna be a little bit of a challenging coral to keep because it is a non-photosynthetic gorgonian. It needs lots of really good target feeding. If it's got that good target feeding, it's an amazing coral to keep. If it doesn't, it doesn't survive. It does not get any benefit from light whatsoever. But the blue on it is really cool. This is a really nice big green bubble coral. When that opens up, it's gonna be this really cool metallic green. A nice brain coral. Okay, I got it straight now. This is a trachophilia brain coral. The other ones are wellsophilia brain coral. And the difference is the smoothness of the lobe. Yeah, and this, is, this has got great color to it too. It's like a golden color. This is a nice big elephant ear mushroom. Or, yeah, elephant ear mushroom. This is gonna be huge. I suspect when this thing opens up, it's gonna be close to eight or eight to 10 inches in diameter. It's gonna be a huge coral. Then, what do we have here? Oh, a really nice bright green favia. Yeah, really good green color on that. And last but not least, what do we got? Oh, this is an uh, anthalia. These are gonna open up very similarly to a pulsing zinnia, only they don't pulse. They're a little easier than a pulsing zinnia though. All right, so there we go. There's a big, huge batch of coral here. We're gonna get these things uh, into their dip to make sure that they are parasite free. We're gonna get them in the tanks and they should be ready to go soon. Come on down to the gallery to check us out. Subscribe to these videos so that you can see more of them. See, I'm trying to do this, this is usually Amy's job, so I'm probably gonna forget something. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Check out our podcast if you wanna hear some detailed information about coral keeping and fish keeping and things like that in general. But otherwise, like I said, subscribe to us on YouTube and you'll be the first to see these videos when they come out. Come on down to the gallery and stay safe. And of course, as always, let's have lots of fun and keep those hands wet. You got them all. <laughs>